am I filming outside? There's constantly airplanes and garbage trucks and cars honking their horns and people slamming things. But there's better light. About a month and a half ago, I made the decision to start taking medication for my complex PTSD, my anxiety, and my depression. It wasn't for the reason you might think. What did it in the end was PMS, or what I thought was PMS. Every month, like clockwork, the last week of my cycle put my anxiety into overdrive. There was usually a day, sometimes two, or even three days when I could barely function. Every stray thought would hit my nervous system like a car accident or a mugging, just leaving me standing stock still while a cold panic flushed over my skin. Even now, just talking about it is making my heartbeat speed up and my throat tighten a little bit. <laughs> In my research, I read about a condition called PMDD, or premenstrual dysphoric disorder, which is a more severe form of premenstrual syndrome, or what we all know as PMS. It sort of matched what I was experiencing. Pieces sort of started falling into place, but not completely. I took one of those online quizzes that serve as a mental health diagnosis starting point for so many of us, and that's when everything really clicked. What I was actually dealing with was something called PME, premenstrual exacerbation. When I took the diagnosis quiz, I already knew that I had complex PTSD, and I made another video about that that I will link both up here or in the show notes. But I'd never even heard of PME. PME is when you have an existing psychiatric disorder that gets worse immediately prior to and sometimes during your period. Unlike with PMS or even PMDD, when you have PME, your symptoms don't completely go away in between cycles. They're always there. They just get worse once a month. Sometimes, like for me, way worse. And PTSD, or complex PTSD, are not the only disorders that PME impacts. It can also exacerbate the symptoms of anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, eating disorders, and even alcoholism. Like CPTSD, PME isn't an official diagnosis in the DSM-5, which is that diagnostic Bible that therapists and insurance companies use to declare mental disorders legitimate. So information on it isn't as widespread as it might otherwise be. I was actually doing pretty well dealing with my CPTSD using the skills I learned in therapy. But that one week a month really threw me for a loop. So on the advice of my therapist, I decided to ask my doctor if I could just take an SSRI for those two weeks of each cycle that surrounded my period. Yeah, I remember what I said about PME not being a real condition. My doctor strongly recommended that I just take Lexapro daily. And after thinking about it, I decided it was worth trying. The difference is amazing. That week of anxiety I used to feel every month has been reduced to just a day or two, and even those days feel less overwhelming than they used to. For me, the chemical solution works. Has it cured my CPTSD? No, not at all. Has it eliminated the PME, the premenstrual exacerbation? Yeah, almost. And that has made it so much easier for me to do the work that I need to do to deal with the underlying issues. 
I'm not a doctor, and I know what worked for me might not work for others. But I also know that others, that you, might not even realize that PME is a thing, or that it could be impeding your mental health progress. It's not just PMS, and it is a different thing from PMDD as well. And I am so relieved to know that, and maybe you will be too. If this video helped you, you can help me by liking it with the thumbs up and or subscribing to the channel. Both here and over on my website fromgen.com, I talk and write regularly about how to live a life of mindfulness, happiness, and creativity. If you're into that, maybe join me. Until next time, I am wishing you love and joy and all those good things, and I can't wait to talk to you again.